Well, Saturday will kick off at noon Pacific with the pregame show. That's coming to you live from Austin Stadium, Eugene. And then this game will follow up Utah, ASU, 1 o'clock Pacific on the Pac-12. Now, we get to call this one with Ted Robinson, my partner, and Jill Savage, and there is so much at stake. For the Utah Utes, remember, they're the one team that has not made it to the Pac-12 title, and they control their own destiny. And I think for them to have success against Arizona State and Herm Edwards, they got to do what they've just done the last couple games. Average over 41 points per game. They've done that in this winning streak that they're currently on. And a huge reason is quarterback Tyler Huntley. He's showcasing incredible mastery at the quarterback position. The zone read game with his legs. The run pass option with Britton Covey, one of the most talented players. Gosh, I feel like he looks like a video game at times. And of course, Zach Moss just dominating on the ground. Should get over 1,000 yards this season in this ball game. And defensively, the Utes have just been elite in every category statistically. But I think when you watch them on the field, how physical they are at the point of attack, the way they're covering in the back end, they're in prime position entering November. Well, Arizona State clearly has something to say about that as Manny Wilkins is in his final run as a fifth-year senior for Arizona State. And he needs to play his best ball if they're going to upset Utah. A huge part of that is Eno Benjamin. To me, he's another guy. He'll probably get over 1,000 yards in this ball game. He's so patient as a running back, and he makes you pay if you want to overrun in your pursuit. It'll be interesting to watch how disciplined Utah can be against the very shifty Eno Benjamin. And of course, we cannot forget to mention Nikhil Harry, the most dominant wide receiver, I believe, in the Pac-12. This has been injured the last couple weeks. When you look at that catch against USC, Catch of the year, catch of the decade, one of the best catches I've ever seen in major college football. So overall, I love this game. It's going to feel like an NFL game, very physical, but it comes down right to the end. We got you covered at 1 o'clock Pacific on the Pac-12 Network.